Introducing K Squad Storytellers. Amber. Crystal. Zach. Emma. Carson. I am most excited about um, the creative ways we can share our testimonies and our like team's testimonies and the people we encounter. Like so, yeah. Like, cause I didn't know like when I first got you know assigned to this. Like, I thought it's like I'll oh, just blogging, blogging, and pictures and stuff. But it's actually like there's so many creative ways you can kind of reach people and impact people. I get to encourage people and to share stories and uh, get to I get to write uh, other people's stories. Personally, I think just like growing in, sharing my story more, I'm like more introverted, so I'm just kind of like, okay, bye, and I kind of just need you know, like strength to like myself. But I think like as a whole, I think it'll be interesting just to see the different mediums that we share, like what we see. Um, as I mentioned earlier, like everyone has a different perspective, and like everyone's story is always different. So I think as a whole, it's gonna be interesting, like as a team. Because we all have like a certain one as K Squad, but I think also just like our individual stories is going to be interesting. So I am really excited to just share stories of the people we meet and especially our ministry hosts. I think it'd be really great to provide them with like video footage of what they do or photos just as a way and a tool for them to kind of showcase what they do and what the Lord is doing in their hearts and the people they're working with. So I'm really excited to be able to kind of partner with them and kind of showcase what they do. I'm really excited to uh, walk in general in the race, walk in a way that Jesus did because Jesus traveled and that was the way that he did ministry um, and he also told stories. So I'm really stoked to be able to also uh, communicate the gospel, communicate everything that God's doing and also just have fun with telling stories and being creative because we have a creative God. So uh, I think it's a privilege to get to create the way that he did. I don't really have a favorite. I definitely want to have more experience with video. It's something my brother's a videographer and so he knows all the things. So he's been giving me tips on how to do video and things like that. So that's something I definitely want to explore a little bit more and kind of learn how to do and just be creative with that. Probably writing and photos. Uh, those are the two areas I want to grow in. Yeah. I would say strongest would probably be like through blogging, but I think I really want to grow in like videography. I think I really want to grow in um, creating through video. I love writing and I love photography, um, and I feel like when I do video, I have a harder time putting together story. So um, I want to grow in crafting a story through video. It's been through blogging mostly. Um, I like to. I really like writing, but um, I'm looking to really get into the photography slash blogging aspect of it. I've been bungee jumping before. Nice. And it was like, the most terrifying thing in my entire. Life. Where did you go? <laughs> in California, it's like uh, it's called Bridge to Nowhere. Maybe I'll send you the video so you can hear my horrific experience. Oh, I would love to see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, one interesting fact about myself is that I have never eaten meat before. So, not even, actually my mom was a vegetarian when she was pregnant with me, so from the womb, I have never had meat. I have run into a sliding glass door. You know what? <laughs> I traveled to India and came home accidentally with a gecko in my suitcase. That's crazy. That's so crazy. I was terrified. 
Uh, it came jumping out of my suitcase. I screamed. My mom screamed. It was crazy. Do you still have it? No. Oh, why didn't <laughs> no. you keep it? I gave it to my science teacher in high school, but I think it died. Oh, well, circle of life. Unfortunately, yeah. What can you do? I've never left the country. So I think it's pretty cool that my first time leaving the country, I'm traveling to 11 different countries. When you go, you go hard. <laughs> yes. <laughs>